Hello and welcome to another episode of Cafe 21. I'm your host, Ross Crawford, and in the hot seat today, we have a very special guest once again. She is a renowned expert in the field of leadership coaching, the CEO of LHR Consulting, a best-selling author, and host of Humanizing Leadership Podcast. And she somehow found time uh, in her day to speak to us today. So welcome to the hot seat, Louise Reed. Thanks so much, Ross. Thrilled to be here. Oh, brilliant. So Louise, you know the drill. It's three questions, three answers. Are you ready? Sure am. Let's do it. Perfect. So as we said, uh, you're, an, you're a renowned expert in leadership coaching. Um, so why is helping others develop their leadership skills so important to you? Uh, it's a long and winding road. Pardon the the, the Beatles, the Beatles uh, reference there, but um, it's very true. So um, I've worked in the human resources field now for about 20 years. And while I accidentally fell into the field after university, I had lots of student debt, I'm sure folks can relate, and I needed to pay rent. And so I quickly saw an opportunity um, in HR to positively impact the lives of people in business. And I was excited at that prospect. Sounds really cheesy and cliche, but it was so true. However, um, what I observed as I made many career moves throughout those 20 years, I kept searching for the human and human resources. Um, and so what got me to this place of focusing on coaching and leadership was that during these career moves, having had the great opportunity to work in so many different businesses, I noticed a common theme. And that was, I noticed what I really call human suffering and great inequity at the hands of well-intentioned but ill-equipped leaders. And so that suffering is what fuels my mission of humanizing leadership. And so I look at humanizing leadership, one conversation, one workshop and work, one workplace at a time to support people and being able to show up in their best way in support of others in their, in their own, in their employees' uh, growth, development and joy. So that's kind of where, how I got to this place um, of, <laughs> It being really, it's it's my it's my passion. It's it's the place that hurt my heart the most. And through, like I said, those those years in HR, I learned that I can apply my expertise and my passion in a way that impacts impacts others. Fascinating, and I encourage all of our uh, viewers to go and find um, some of Louise's work because uh, she has the podcast, like I say, and her her books are really really inspiring and just offer a lot on on the subject. Um, obviously, what, what we kind of aim to do is uh, inspire a kind of a new generation of people. Um, so, kind of from your research and your uh, extensive knowledge, what are some of the most crucial skills individuals should look to develop that are going to attract businesses to candidates and kind of turn employees into leaders, as it were? It's a great question and it's a multifaceted answer. And so those who like sort of more complexity uh, to the answers, this is great. For those who are looking for a lot of structure, I hope to be able to give you some of that too. And so um, successful next gen leaders need to be of strong character. They need to show compassion, act with courage and have domain competence. And so I actually, I call these the four C's of leadership. So character, compassion, courage and competence. And these really create your leadership foundation. And then building on that, with that in place, it enables you to better lead others and lead the way with greater influence and impact. If I'm gonna get into one layer grittier, um, and this is using Deloitte research, and, and this is research that came out I want to say 2020, um, you know, Deloitte looked at and participated obviously in their own decades of research related to leadership and they've really narrowed it down. And so I wanted to share with you and your audience the capabilities that great leaders need to have and behaviors they need to embody according to Deloitte. And that's, they need to inspire, be able to inspire others to take action. They need to get teams to achieve results, persuade and influence, collaborate, set vision direction and create a compelling course of action. So it's really about communicate, communicating in, a, in, authentic, in an authentic and, and engaging way. Um, be able to make business decisions that drive better line performance. So decision-making and decision-making on the fly. Um, and then being able to develop people for competitive advantage. So really being able to connect with people and be able to unlock the potential and empower those 
that you lead. And I'll be happy to share that link with you if that's a value so that you folks listening can easy, easily reference that Deloitte research. Oh, definitely. I think I'll, I'll speak to um, some of the background people at STGC. I think we'll be able to get that link up for our, our viewers um, if it's of interest. Um, sounds like fascinating stuff. And um, so just think, again, thinking ahead, obviously, it's we have to acknowledge it. Times have never been tougher um, to be maybe a high school pupil just graduating or uh, even a university graduate. What would you say is your one top tip for the next generations of leader, generation of leaders um, to kind of stand out in such challenging times? Never lose your joy. Uh, never lose that spark of what's connected you to your work. A lot, there are a lot of smart people in the world. And what sets you apart is staying connected to that joy and knowing why something, what is your fuel and staying connected to that fuel. And once that starts to wane, notice it and reassess and do something to either pivot or to reignite you with the joy that brought you to that place and that area of interest and study in the first place. Uh, a brilliant tip, Louise, and I think one that we can all uh, relate to, especially in such dark times, I think, and difficult times for a lot of people. Uh, brilliant. So that's it. The three, the three questions, three answers. That's it for here uh, for us here at Cafe 21. Uh, thank you, for, uh, thank you, Louise, for sitting in the hot seat today. I hope it was uh, hope it was okay for you, and we wish you well. My pleasure. Thanks so much.